Las abejas como cualquier ser vivo. Bees, like any living being, need a good diet based on a balanced diet in order to maintain good levels of productivity and health of the colony. Under the current climatic conditions and the decrease in resources between some blooms, artificial feeding of the hives is necessary. Entre algunas floraciones, se hace necesaria la alimentación artificial de las colmenas. La implementación de tortas proteicas. The implementation of protein cakes is a great solution to cover the nutritional needs of the colony, ideal for strong and long rainy or dry seasons when there is no food available for them. Good morning, Mr. Jerley. How are you? Yes, sir. We'll gladly take it to the scale. Don Jerley, le pesa 2.5. Mr. Jerley, this weighs 2.5. We're going to change it for 25 sheets. Do me a favor and sign here, please. Here you are, with great pleasure that you do very well. Mr. Jerley has brought us 2.5 kilograms of wax. Ah, uh, that's good. With this we complete 50 kilos to start making a mixture. Call me the wax production team so that we can start making wax now because we need to send to Santa Rosa and Almaguer that the beekeepers are requiring there in those municipalities. Okay. Gracias, vale? Me llevas. Thank you. This one is to take to the oven. Vale. And this one to start making wax. Nosotros somos 133 familias. We're 133 families distributed as follows. In the municipality of Santa Rosa we are 25 families that belong to the association. In the municipality of Almaguer there are also 25 families and in the municipality of La Vega, which is the main headquarters of our association, there are 83 families. Having a coverage area of more than 180,000 hectares because that is almost the territory that we are covering with our association in protected areas. The bees arrive in this municipality in the 70s, brought by Mr. Efren Minos and Father Armando. Don Efren told us that the road at that time only reached the municipality of Sierra, that in order to move the bees and bring the colonies to this municipality, they had to bring them on horses and mules to install them in this municipality. At that time, the advantage was that the bees were Italian, they were not aggressive, so they are brought to this municipality, and beekeeping begins there. First we were about seven boys, I would say, 
At that time it occurred to us to manage the bees for food, to complete the feeding table in the family. So, we never thought about a company, nor did we dream. People realized that we were making progress, we already had the honey, and it was used for food and to sell to the neighbors. Algunas personas tenían unos recursos, entonces dijeron que ellos querían unirse a, a, al programa de, de apicultores. Some people had some resources, so they said they wanted to join the beekeeping program, but really they just wanted to, which was the important thing because they didn't know anything. That's how we entered with these people and a character arrived who dedicated them with soul, life and hat. Con alma, vida y sombrero. Este personaje lleva por nombre Oscar Molano. His name is Oscar Milano, who began to open up the market for our product, beginning in the city of Popayan, offering honey door to door for small items. That's how the commercialization began. Acá en Apimacizo tenemos un beneficio muy grande a los apicultores, que es... Eh... Here in Apimacizo, we have a very great benefit to beekeepers. When they bring their kilo of wax, we make the exchange with 10 sheets of wax, which in the market would be an exchange of a kilo of wax for around 30 to 33 thousand pesos. Entonces el apicultor se va a ver beneficiado porque los 33 mil pesos se los va a ahorrar y estamos incentivando al reciclaje de cera a... a so, the beekeeper is going to benefit because those 33,000 pesos are going to be saved and we are encouraging the recycling of wax, namely to use other raw materials than not only honey, but also wax and other products that the beehive provides us. There, what we do as beekeepers and board of directors is to bring this process to a successful conclusion, which is to produce the wax sheet in our association and distribute it to the 133 beekeeping families that our association but also to beekeeping families outside our jurisdiction of Apimacizo. De, de Apimacizo. Lo de la, el tema de la, de la alimentación de las abejas, en, hace unos Regarding the feeding of the bees, some time ago we only fed the bees, today we are making the protein cake, to encourage it is given at a certain time that is during the eve and a good flowering in order to increase the bee population, have more workers in the territory and in our hives. Obtaining better benefits such as that in record times I was able to fill a honey increase. That is why we encourage beekeepers to prepare the hives in the flowering season because if we do not do that we will simply see that the flowering that is in the territory will only give them to prepare the hives. But we will not receive 100 honey. Percent natural. Feeding with cake. We are not going to contaminate the honey with traces of sugar because the clear example of us as an association is that our honey is 100% natural. We want the natural reserves that we have not to be contaminated with cups of industrial sugar. Protein cake for colonies. 200 milliliters of citric acid. Very ripe bananas. 350 grams of eggs. 3 kilograms of honey. 10 gr of salt 25 milliliters of olive oil 12 gr unflavored gelatin buttercup flour juice permacarlia 1 kilogram beer yeast pulverized sugar Ahora vamos a hacer la torta proteica para alimentar nuestras abejas en este aquí en esta mezcla Now we are going to make the protein cake to feed our bees here in this mixture there are bananas, 350 grams of free-range eggs, 19 grams of salt, 
12 grams of unflavored gelatin and 20 grams of citric acid. Entonces vamos a, a proceder a, a echarlos al cuñete. Sacudimos bien. We are going to proceed to throw them into the fist, shake well, add the buttercup juice. Eh, el promocalier, que es una vitamina animal. Eh, the promocalier, which is an animal vitamin, add the brewer's yeast. De, de cerveza. Eh, add the other pound of beer yeast, and in this step we add the oil. Y en este paso lo que echamos es el aceite. De esto podemos echar unos, un promedio de 25 gramos. An average of 25 grams ml because it is natural or vegetable oil so that it helps the bees to recover fat. A, a, a recuperar grasa. Ahora vamos a proceder a... Now we are going to proceed to beat the mixture. A mezclarlo. We have already achieved this mixture. We proceed to add the 3.5 kilograms of honey from bees because we are in the process of replacing, but we cannot replace 100% of their food. Which, as in this case, their honey is very essential, 100% natural. We continue with the whipping process. And in the last step, we proceed to mix the powdered sugar to give consistency to the cake and help it to be manageable, so that we can put it in the hives without the need to use or make trails so. We use the powdered sugar to give consistency to the tower. Don Rosso, me haces un grande favor de de darme las bolsas y la pesa para pesar un kilo. Don Rosso, you do me a great favor by giving me the bags and the scale to weigh a kilo of cake. Take it to the bees and do a review. Listo. Entonces, la vamos a pesar Don Rosenberg para mirar si hay un kilo para... We are going to weigh Don Rosenberg to see if there is a kilo. Contamos con un kilo, exacto. We have an exact kilo. Ya una vez elaborada la torta, nos dirigimos a nuestro apiario con la... Once the cake is made, we go to our apiary with the sheets of wax to nourish our bees and place the sheets so that they stretch it and thus obtain good harvests of pollen and honey. Pollen y miel. Vamos a, a, en estos momentos, a hacer un proceso de alimentación, ¿sí? Con una torta multiprotética que se hizo... At this moment we are going to carry out a feeding process with the multiprotein cake that was made previously. What we are going to do now is show you how to feed it or introduce it to the beehive. Introducirlo a la, a la colmena. ¿sí? ¿Por qué...? Digamos, ¿por qué nutrir las colmenas? ¿Sí? Eh, en estos momentos, en, digamos, a nivel 
nacional, pues tenemos un problema de, de ola invernal. ¿sí? Why feed the hives? At the national level, we currently have a winter wave problem that has greatly affected the hives. So, we have to be nurturing and feeding them to maintain their number and also so that the hives do not die or do not swarm. Because if a hive does not have food, it will go to look for food elsewhere where there is and if it does not get food because they are going to die. Y si no consigue alimento, pues van a, van a morir. Entonces lo que hacemos como apicultores en este momento estamos es eh, haciendo que las abejas... As beekeepers at the moment, we are working so that the bees do not die. At least we keep them in the apiary. And we do this process of the cake to keep them there and see how the queen's posture is. A well-strengthened colony has between 70 to 80,000 bees. De cómo está la postura de la reina, ¿sí? Pues digamos una, una colonia bien fortalecida tiene entre 80.000, 70.000 abejas, ¿sí? Aquí podemos encontrar un promedio de, de unas 30.000 abejas o 25.000 porque no están bien, bien pobladas. Here we can find an average of 30,000 bees or 25,000 because they are not well populated. It is said that for a kilo of bees there are 5,000 bees. So what we are going to look at here is a small reserve of food. A honey that is still bug and has not completed the capping process. Now we are going to introduce the food. It is a multi-protein cake that we made previously and we are going to give it to the bees. Esta torta es, contiene minerales, ¿sí? vitaminas, que van a, a, a suplementar las necesidades que... This contains minerals and vitamins that will supplement the needs, especially for the production of royal jelly with which the queen and the young are fed. En este caso, las, las obreras que a ellas se les, da, les dan jalea real durante los, los tres, tres primeros días después de haberse convertido en larvas. In this case, the workers, which are given jelly during the first three days after becoming a larva. The cycle begins when the queen lays the egg. After three days it hatches and becomes a larva. There they feed it for three days with royal jelly, and then it goes on to a process that is pollen. Y aminoácidos que hacen una, hacen una alimentación para ya apercularlas y ellas nacen a los 21 días, las, las obreras. Honey and amino acids that make a diet to seal them and born at 21 days. From the moment they are born, they start feeding the young. Then they clean the cells so that the queen puts honey and when they are between 12 to 14 days old. Ya cuando tienen unos 12 a 14 días de, de haber nacido, ellas desarrollan las, las glándulas para producir cera. They develop the glands to produce wax until their 18 to 19 day of life. At 21 days, they become foragers, which are the ones that go to the field to collect nectar, pollen and water, which is their main function in itself. En esta, en esta colmena vamos a hacer extracción de, de miel. ¿sí? In this hive we are going to do honey extraction and the introduction of the frame with the stamped wax. The idea is that we are going to take some frames to carry out the harvest practice. Sacar unos marcos para realizar la práctica de cosecha. Entonces lo que hacemos es, aquí eh, pues retiramos los, los cuadros que, que estén para, para cosecha y ya el, el demás trabajo de, de, de... What we do is, here we remove the squares that are to be harvested and the rest of the work of their capping, we do it in a harvest layer. Bueno, el, el cambio de cera se hace las colmenas periódicamente, pues dependiendo las necesidades que tenga la colmena. Si yo puedo... The change of wax is done in the hives periodically, depending on the needs of the hive. I can introduce wax to increase the colony as they work and also make periodic changes to frames with wax that have completed their cycle. Lo puedo mirar por, digamos, observación, que ya en estos alveolos, pues una, la reina ya no, ya no puede poner porque al, al nacer varias abejas, los alveolos se van cerrando y la reina no alcanza a introducir el, 
el huevo. Entonces no me van a servir para... We can notice it by observation. For example, in these alveoli the queen can no longer lay because when several bees are born, they are closing and the queen is not able to introduce the egg, then, they will not be useful for breeding bees and what it is for honey. Since they are already very small alveoli, they will also deposit a very small amount of honey. The idea of this is to keep changing them because if I don't make changes, the bees themselves are going to start removing them, and that is energy that they lose. The more energy a bee spends, the more honey is consumed. El consumo de miel. Entonces vamos a, a terminar ya arreglando. We are going to finish fixing the hive to get it ready and go to harvest the honey because later we have to return to the apiary to introduce the frames that are harvested. Nos toca volver a al apiario para introducir los los cuadros que se cosechan. En este momento los compañeros están desoperculando la miel y eso significa el punto de cosecha, donde el dulce néctar... At this moment, the colleagues are uncapping the honey that means the harvest point, where the sweet nectar that the bees translate and produce into healthy, natural and organic honey from these mountains is reflected in the result of our work. Una colmena. Apimacizo. Bueno, intentamos ser una colmena en la cual... Eh, como primera medida eh, y como miembros activos y protagónicos. Apimacizo is a hive. Well, we try to be as active and leading members of what we do in the territory of the Colombian Massif, here in the municipality of La Vega and in the municipalities of Almaguer and Santa Rosa. We are fundamentally with a mission and that is to protect the sacred territory of the Colombian Massif. San Sebastián y cruzando la corona de estos municipios del macizo colombiano. Nacen y recorren. From these lands, from San Sebastián and crossing the crown of these municipalities of the Colombian Massif, five of the largest rivers in the country that bathe this nation are born and flow. Eh, que se consume en el país, nace en esta región del macizo colombiano, y de allí la, la gran importancia... De la... Nearly 70% of the water consumed in Colombia is born in this region, and hence the great importance of bees to protect the forests to generate that reproduction of the fruits, but also to care for and protect the water. That is a mission that bees have and we also want and try to be that, that hive, that colony that cares about preserving this ancestral and sacred territory for us, which we call the Colombian Andean Massif. Sagrado para nosotros, al cual eh, le llamamos macizo andino colombiano.